Hi, so for, th for this installment, um, I'm gonna talk about the central principle of the Parinoma method, which is that you don't need to be fixed. And um, it's you don't need to be fixed and that basically unconditional positive regard and love is not just about expanding the like the appreciation and increasing like the positivity in your life it's also about expanding out into having a better relationship with the negative facets and the aspects of ourselves, and seeing them within a larger context of really who we are and what this involves is accountability and discernment and, you know, so discernment just being, you know, like the fancy word for, you know, no. And accountability being, um, you know, about maintaining and respecting boundaries. And also observance of human rights. And if you're following along in the book, this is page 21 through 26. Um, so you don't need to be fixed. This is about addressing tendencies to, you know, moralize and shame. And this can be, um, like, perceived shortcomings as they relate to cultural or familial standards. Um, this can even be about, um, you know, even like, like a strange relationship with patterns that um, you don't even understand that are like repeating in your life, um, like in terms of like behavior and even like so-called flaws, but also things that like, you know, as far as like things that feel like they need to be hidden otherwise like if they were revealed you know like so like all would be known and that they would overtake like the the fact of something about you um like you know from your history or something you've done before would actually like overtake all the merit of your being if it were to be known by others so it's like so it's almost like with that intensity around shame, we are, we're gonna like kind of try to even hide it from ourselves because it's that's like a really like potent notion. So look, everyone deserves love and acceptance, but you know, the, the caveat here in the nuance with not needing to be fixed, um, like greater acceptance of the negative aspects of ourselves and accountability and discernment is that you just don't need to be the one who's offering this love and acceptance for every single individual. And what that means is like for folks who, you know, are having their boundaries like invaded or disrespected, um, you know, denying, you know, our human dignity, you know, like with these boundaries and these human rights, these are really facets of, you know, like our lived experience that keep us feeling safe and whole and in our integrity. So, um, you know, so this is deep in the nuance of like not needing to be fixed, but also like upholding standards. And through Parinoma Method, we, you know, we unpack layer by layer the facets of ourselves so that we can come to know, accept, uh, forgive, and ultimately liberate ourselves from the hold of behaviors and patterns and beliefs that were programmed before episodic memory. And, um, you know, an episodic memory is, you know, comes online pretty late. So more on that um, coming up later. But this is really about having a better relationship with the negative aspects of ourselves. So, you know, when we can see the larger context of our development and the surrounding circumstances that shaped us, you know, it reduces the shame circuit breaker and its intensity that keeps us from fully seeing ourselves. And, you know, in, when we're in a better position to see ourselves and accept these aspects of ourselves, we're more likely to be able to take accountability. And when we can take accountability um, and see and understand ourselves, we really restore uh, like a healthy responsiveness to our, you know, so-called like flaws, patterns, and behaviors. And with context, we're better able to see and accept ourselves. So I'm looking down right now. I wrote some notes up because it was taking me a really long time to um, to put this video together. So forgive me, I wanted it to not uh, run too long. Um, so look, so my note here is that like when we clear off the lens and see context, we can take more accountability. And when we can take accountability, we have more love and respect for ourselves. So, you know, like, like it's been said, you know, I think there's a, someone 
like said um, in a documentary I saw a while back, I think it was about Santa's on HBO, that God doesn't make junk. Um, and that, you know, this nuance as far as like the dichotomy of, you know, that like there's nothing wrong with you and you don't need to be fixed is not that you like, like the cultural notion that it's like, you know, you are perfect in this sense of like purity, positivity, and perfection. It is that we are all a spectrum in her of like behaviors and um and things about ourselves that are like have a very like wide range in terms of um you know like their relative like positive and negativity and um and when we create a better relationship with understanding that instead of trying to block it out um we can really find and know ourselves and not even and and really also like not be afraid of aspects of ourselves um, that we don't have to be afraid of. Um, so, you know, so this is like, this nuance is really, you know, in terms of like articulating and finding words for is really best left to like the poets and the mystics, but, um, but we can feel it. So let's just do a quick deep breath in. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. So inhale and exhale. And just do a, like a quick body scan and pay attention to where there's any sensation right now in your physical body. Um, if there's anything that leaps out as far as like pain, sensation, like heat, um, and just notice that. Now just to do a quick scan to look like, start with the feet, um, kind of and in, in kind of like notice any like coldness or stiffness, any like whatever sensation is there or numbness, that's also a thing. And travel up through the legs into the torso, like just feel where that's at right now. If there's anything going on there, up into the heart, uh, arms, kind of scan up through the, like through the chin, jaw, eyes, top of head. And now let's take another deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just ask yourself the question, am I ready to have a better relationship with myself? See you next time.